Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about City of Light by Carrie Arthur. Now, there are two fundamental reasons I picked up this brilliant book. Number one, I saw Carrie Arthur speak at Supernova at the Gold Coast and she was fantabulous. Number two, a blue haired magical writer heavily suggested that I read this book because she thought it was so awesome and that she loved Carrie Arthur's writing so much and insisted that I need to pick it up. And I believe said magical writer who writes werewolf novels and has blue hair. She was right! I did enjoy it very, very much so. I'm not a big fan of dystopian novels, but this one felt... It's, it's the dystopian novels that I like. It felt like Solace by Jacinta Marie. It felt very, not grim dystopian, but it felt very dark and horrible outlook of future dystopian. It just, it felt very much like a book that I enjoy reading. And the dystopian aspect wasn't really there. Like there was the law that surrounded why the world is now possessed with demons and wraith and all that bric-a-brac. But for the most part, it did have a lighter element to it that just give this tale some sort of comedy and I really appreciate that in dark books where an author is trying to tackle a dark subject matter or the tale is very dark those light moments of humor just comedy make it feel like it's not all about the darkness like there is some light in the city um the character of Tiger oh my god was she badass I loved her so much she felt real, she felt authentic, she felt not human, but she felt human at the same time. And it, I loved her characterization. Like, the whole plot of this book is that she joins up with these other people to save these children, and there is just this scene at, at the end of the book when she's like saved some people and they still want to kill her, and she's like, Hey, I just saved your ass! If you're gonna try and kill me after I just saved you, I'm out of here. Bye bye. And she exits, and it's just like, yes. I thoroughly enjoyed her character. I loved the character of Sal in this book. He was like one of those characters that you didn't know what was gonna happen, but he was just such. The way that Carrie wrote him, he felt like he was supposed to be all smooth and, you know, cool. But he just came off as very funny to me. Like, there's this one line in the book where he's like, well, should I fill you in or should I fill you? And I just, like, I burst out laughing because, like, that that, that just sounds... I, 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 I suppose it was supposed to be, like, romantic and smooth, but I just found it so funny. I really love the dialogue in this. I love Carrie's ability to write witty and smart alecky dialogue. I love Tiger's connection to like the ghosts and I just, I love the whole character and world. It was really, really good. I highly recommend if you're a fan of dystopian, if you're a fan of paranormal, if you're a fan of character interactions that you need to pick this up. And when I finished it, I was like internally sobbing because I was in the car and I didn't want to disturb people who were sleeping. But I was just, I was until I need the second one now. And I have just found out that my local bookshop stocks uh, Winter Halo. And so when I go into the city next, I am going to be like, I'm going to grab it. I'm going to read it. And I'm going to be happy. And then I have to wait for the third one. And I am so excited. So thank you all for watching this book review. I am so excited to get into the uh, Outcast or the Tiger Trilogy. It was awesome. So thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.